Good morning. Good morning. That's what I thought. I'm Thomas Anderson of the Costa Grande Police Department. I'm honored to be your Master of Ceremonies today. Thank you all for joining us on this special day, an annual event in which our City Attorney's Office Victim Assistance Program partners with the Costa Grande Elementary School District to host the Children's Flower Garden Planting event. That's what we're here for today. So to begin, let's please welcome McCartney Ranch Elementary School fourth grader Jace Mitchell to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Jace. I pledge allegiance to, to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. section was represented by Aaron Lim on flute, Nicholas Camacho on clarinet, Nathan Williams on alto sax, and Catherine Henson on tenor sax, and band director Martha Hebdo for the music arrangement. Let's give them another round of applause. Thank you very much. School Blue Notes, represented by Mrs. Donna Tellis. Can't see who she's back there. <laughs> and students Janella Bagsby, Demetrius Cervantes, Kaylin Crank, Victoria Gillum, Damone Gaitan, Scarlett Hernandez, Gloria Munoz, Matthew Perezo, Coral Solano, and Allison Wong. Thank you very much. Let's give them another round of applause there. Just so you know, uh, there are a few schools out here representing our, our elementary school district and uh, I'd just like to give them their credit, of course. And so first of all, all the way in the back, I think it's Choya Elementary. <laughs> Thanks, Choya Elementary. Ironwood Elementary. Palo Verde Elementary. And McCartney Ranch. And I think Vilago Middle School's 15 Mindset Ambassadors are here, right? Where are you at? Oh, right there in the back. Hey, guys, from Vilago. And of course, you know we have our woodwind section, our blue notes, but we also have our cougar spirit line in the back there, and you'll get to see them in just a few minutes. Thanks for joining us. So just so you know who's up front here, because you always want to know who these really important people are sitting facing you, right? Uh, and you'll get to hear from a few of them, but our mayor pro tem, Matt Herman, is right there in the front, and next to him, Next to him is our guest speaker, Chris, and you'll get to hear a lot more about her and from her in a minute. Our Deputy Chief, Reginald Winston from the Casagrande Police Department. 
David Snyder, a board member of Against Abuse and the Casa Grande Elementary School District. And just to recognize uh, a few more of our main sponsors, uh, Jim Sewer of Vivid Landscape. Where you at, Jim? And his team are here. And we want to thank them for the flowers and planting materials that are needed for our garden event today. Um, and let's move forward by asking our mayor pro tem, Matt Herman, to come up and speak to you for a minute. So I'm the mayor pro tem of Casa Grande. Do you know what that means? If the mayor's not here, then you get me. But I assure you I'm better looking, funnier, and much nicer than the mayor is. I'm just kidding. He's a nice guy. But I want to thank you all today on behalf of the city of Casa Grande. I know you would rather be sitting in school learning about math or science. No? You guys want to be out here planting flowers? Yeah! You know why? Because Casa Grande is the best city in the world to live in. You guys are lucky to be here. So we're glad that you're here with us today. And you guys are helping us to represent the future of Casa Grande. You know, just like you guys, I used to sit out there from Casa Grande and look at these old guys up here with no hair, talking to people, saying, you guys are saying, what is this guy doing? We want to plant flowers, right? We want to get dirty. We want to see the cheerleaders. We want to hear the band. But sometimes you got to listen to the old people talk for just a minute. But I really want you guys to know that you right here sitting in front of us and standing in the back and standing here you guys are the future of casa grande without people like you without you know the you guys being here making us happy it doesn't really give us a good reason as a city because all we're doing is going forward building a great future for you guys so we want you to be here in casa grande stay here in casa grande and love casa grande who loves casa grande that's right say everybody say i love casa grande <laughs> Yes. So just remember today, there's some kids that didn't have a very good time. You know, they, they were uh, victims of, the, of domestic abuse, and that's why we're here today to remember them. But let's not be sad about that. Let's make this a happy occasion because the future is here. You guys are going to beautify our city hall. You're going to plant some flowers for the whole city to enjoy, and that's an important thing because it's a great place to live. We're glad to have you here, and just thank you very much for coming out to participate today. So we'll see you guys soon, and I'll give it back over to, to Thomas Anderson. Thank you very much, sir. All right, let's move on. I'm, uh, I'm happy to introduce to you today our Deputy Chief of Police and uh, the, the leader of our patrol division for the Casa Grande Police Department, Deputy Chief Reginald Winston. So again, good morning. On behalf of Chief Mark McCrory and the men and women of the Casa Grande Police Department, I am proud to join y'all today as we remember and honor all children in our community who have been the victims of crime and abuse. We as citizens have a basic human right to be free from violence and abuse. All too often people find themselves in abusive relationships and the results can be devastating. Crimes against children and domestic violence affects not only the victim directly involved, it affects everyone and can have a negative impact on our community. We at the Casa Grande Police Department strive to educate and preventive measures and is committed to bringing offenders of crimes involving children to justice. It is through a combined effort of police, our judicial system, our schools, and local resources that we can effectively combat these crimes and bring some peace to those who have been affected by it. My message to you today is simple. I ask you to remember our duty to protect, protect our youth, not as police officers, our educators, our community leaders, but simply as adults. I ask you to remember that we are responsible for safeguarding these young people. We are responsible for protecting those who cannot protect themselves. We are responsible for providing them with a safe environment and an opportunity to thrive and be successful so they can be the future leaders of our community. This is a community responsibility, one that we must take personally. Thank you and enjoy your morning. Back to just recognizing a few more organizations and, and folks here. Um, I mentioned uh, David over there, but we want to uh, recognize Against Abuse for their involvement in our event every year. And uh, the Boys and Girls Club of the Casa Grande Valley, uh, who also are heavily involved in, in our operation here every year. So we thank them. And uh, one other side note, it's not really a side note, but a thing that a lot of people don't know about because we don't do it on this day, but 
throughout this coming year, our uh, city staff will be planting trees throughout the city, uh, specifically on Arbor Day, I believe, uh, in recognition of all children who have been victims of abuse and crime. So it's a pretty cool story to hear about, and when you see that on Arbor Day, you'll know what it's about. So. Just to give you a little background, the Casa Grande Attorney's Office Victim Assistance Program provides assistance, support, and protection to victims of their families and educates them about domestic violence and the criminal justice process. One of the many ways this happens is a flower garden event. This flower garden is planted each year by our community children to remember those children who have been victims of abuse. Uh, one other person that I wanted to recognize, I saw him walk over, and sorry, the sun's in my eyes just a little bit, but Mr. Brett Wallace, our city attorney, is over here, and I think Mark Graff is over there next to him. Make you guys wave a little bit there. Thanks for being here, gentlemen. So they are the leaders of our, of our city attorney's office there. Thank you very much for being here. We're very fortunate to have a great guest speaker today. Her name is Chris Mejia, and Chris is a Central Arizona College student who is working towards her associate's degree in business. She plans to graduate next spring and transfer to Arizona State University in the fall of 2019 to study accounting. Chris was born and raised in Casa Grande. She attended Palo Verde Elementary School. Woo! There you are. Vilago Middle School. And then graduated from Casa Grande Union High School. She has spent her time giving back to her community by sharing her success story with students and to help motivate students to continue their education. Chris is a former Casa Grande Youth Commission member. She is Vice President of Phi Beta Lambda, member of the CAC's Campus Activities Boards, Board, excuse me, and a TRIO student. During her time off, she enjoys spending time with her family, watching movies, and reading. Chris, come on up. Well, good morning. Good morning. I just love it when you, when you say that. <laughs> you guys are so polite. So once again, my name is Chris Mejia. And I'm really excited to be here today. So thank you to the planning committee for um, having me speak today. And uh, the funny thing is, when I was a third grader at Palo Verde Elementary School, I uh, had the opportunity to attend this event. So to come back and to speak to you all is a great honor for me and it brings me so much excitement. And once again, I was born and raised here in Casa Grande. You heard all of the schools that I went to. And I graduated from Casa Grande Union High School and I continued my education at Central Arizona College. And that has, my experience um, growing up here has truly made me the person that I am today. Um, at Palo Verde Elementary School, I had the opportunity to find my voice. And that is something that I want to express that you, each and every single one of you need to learn is to find your voice. So the way I, I, I accomplished that was because I joined student council. I got involved. As a fourth grader, I ran for secretary, and, the, and in the fifth grade, I ran for treasurer. And, that, and I continued that experience in middle school and in through high school, and I graduated as the student council president. And because of that, I had so many great people. I had the opportunity to meet so many f fabulous people that, along the way. And one person that truly impacted my life was my seventh grade teacher, and that's Miss Rachel Hernandez. And Miss Hernandez, she introduced me to the Casa Grande Youth Commission, and that's where I got involved within my city. And that's where I began to plan events for the youth, I began to um, do many things, network with people, and honestly, I had such a great experience growing up here in Casa Grande that when I went to Central Arizona College, I got the opportunity to travel abroad. I lived in China, and I just got back actually in January, and I continued my education at Central Arizona College in, in accounting. Today's um, Thing is you are stronger than you believe and you have greater powers than you know and Wonder Woman said that and I want to express to every single one of you that when you see a situation you have the voice to speak up and you have the voice in order to continue and to seek help and I want to express that that you that your teachers are the people who are your greatest resources I had so many amazing teachers along the way your teacher, you spend 180 days out of 365 days of the year with your teachers. They are the ones who support you. They are the ones who see when you are 
are nervous in school, they, they see your smiles, and they are the ones who support you. And I want to give thanks to my mom here, Maria Mejia. She came all the way. Um, she spent her day this morning with me. My mom has been my biggest supporter in my life. And even if you don't have, um, um, if you don't have somebody as strong as your mom or your dad, you have to give thanks to your grandma, your your grandparents, or whoever it is in your life that is here with you. So what I want to end with today is that each and every single one of you has a voice and I want you guys to use that voice to help other students and to help other people and to network, um, to meet people along the way and show them what you can do. And with, being, with that being said, um, go back to your schools, thank your teachers, thank your parents, your grandparents or whoever is with you and appreciate what you have. Thank you very much. As you get older, you'll see how important it is to be able to, to have the opportunity to give a message to your own community that you grew up in. Uh, not everybody gets a chance to do that. I'm not from around here, and one day I'm going to go back home and tell them how cool I am. That's what she just did to you, right? So, anyways, uh, we have a special presentation for you now. So what I need you to do, is, and don't do it until I say go, okay? But when I say go, I'm going to ask you to turn around and face that way. Don't not you? Come on. I'm asking you to turn around and face that way so we can watch the Casa Grande Union High School Cougar Spirit Line. Go. C-O-U-G-A-R-S, go. Cougars, go. C-O-U-G-A-R-S, go. Cougars, go. C-O-U-G-A-R-S, go. Cougars, go. C-O-U-G-A-R-S, go. Cougars, By the way, in closing, I'd like to thank our sponsors and some of our partners. I've thanked a couple of them already, but once again, Mr. Jim Sewer and, and Vivid Landscape, where are you at again? Back there, so right there. Right in the middle, I keep missing him. He's the tallest guy in the room, right? Uh, thank you again for providing all of uh, the materials for us to pl plant today, um, and we're about to get to that. Our Mayor Pro Tem, Matt Herman, right here, and uh, Mr. David Snyder, our Deputy Chief of Police, uh, uh, Deputy Chief Winston, Against abuse, where are you at? There's a couple of folks here. Sylvia's back there, she's talking. And uh, the Boys and Girls Club of the Costa Grande Valley are here. Where are you at, Raise your hand. They're right there in the back, and they brought some really cool, uh, some uh, really cool little signs for all the students, right? Um, last year we did buttons. I think you have little cards this year. That was, that's pretty cool. We'll get those when we leave. And uh, who else do we have? Well, of course, the parents that are here, the teachers that are here, our volunteers. The final person that I'd like to recognize before I introduce you to two of the most important people in the room is this young lady behind me, um, who's our very own victim service specialist. She doesn't like for me to introduce her, but beyond her normal scope of duty, she works very hard every year to organize this event, and that's Miss Terry Montillo. There you go. She's mad at me right, for recognizing her. But she, she, we also have a victim services uh, assistant who works with us, Miss Maria Cruz, she, who did not know she was being recognized. Either. Thank you very much for all the hard work you do, ladies. Now, the last thing we need to do is plant these flowers. Are you ready to plant some flowers? Yeah! I'm ready to watch you plant some flowers. I'm going to help you. I'm going to help you.